how to video by Marcus. This video will cover the settings I recommend for the cursor in Filmora screen in regards to what happens when you left click on the mouse uh, and how to make the cursor as visible as possible. Uh, so what you want to do in Filmora screen is, as you probably already know, is drag your clip into the timeline. For the purpose of this video, we do not need the microphone and we do not need the camera. So we're just going to go with the screen software. Uh, let's take a look at what happens just by default here as the mouse is clicked. So you can see on the screen the mouse is really small, rather hard to follow. And when things are selected, you really don't see any visual representation of a, a click actually occurring. So one of the first things we can go ahead and do is up on the upper left hand side of the screen, we can click on the mouse icon. We have three options, left click rings, cursor highlight, and left click sound. Cursor highlight, to apply that, uh, we would drag that down to the clip much like you would an effect in like software like Premiere Pro or other video editing software. When we do that, we instantly see this large highlighted area around the mouse to draw attention to it. Uh, and you can control the color. I don't like it because I think by default it should have also allowed you to control the scale or the size of that circle to make it smaller or larger. Definitely, I can't imagine anybody would want it larger. I can only imagine people would want it like 50 to 75% smaller than that. Uh, and then also a transparency would be good, like anywhere from 100% down to 0%, like they have for the cursor up above. Um, so I'm not going to really recommend that be used, so I'm just going to go ahead and X that out so it does not have an impact. What I do recommend is applying left click rings and left click sounds. For the sound, we can control percentage. Uh, I like somewhere between 75 and 100 because I want that sound to be visible over me talking. Visible. I want it to be audible over me talking. Uh, and then the uh, left click ring, you can make these whatever color that you want. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit play to illustrate those two things in combination with one another. So there you can hear the click of the mouse and you can see rings when something is selected. So it's 100% the viewer is certain that you've selected that item. Uh, the cursor, however, is still rather small. That we can control right up here on the right hand side as well in the scale function. So we could go up to 400%, actually even higher than 400% if we wanted to. So let's select play. So there you can see the cursor was very large on the screen, perhaps too large. I'm going to go to the timeline here to somewhere. Oops. So there's the size of that cursor at full size. 99%. So 100% is like too small. I'm like thinking somewhere in a 300% range might be good. The other thing I would recommend is not a setting in Filmora, but it's a setting in Windows. Uh, I have Windows 10. We're going to do a search for mouse. Whoops, can't type today. Color. Maybe Windows is now. Windows is not smart enough like Google to fix that. So mouse color. I would recommend this setting here where it's a black mouse with a white border around it. So. With this setting, when you go over a white object like this box right here, we can still see the mouse clearly because of the black in the center. When we bring it over a black area, we can still see the mouse because of the white. Uh, the reason we don't want this setting here is when we're over black, it's white. When we're over white, it's black. So that sounds great, but I was doing a screen capture in Premiere Pro where most of the items are kind of like a light to dark gray and the black cursor over a light gray background resulted in a black cursor and it was very hard to see that black cursor on the screen over a gray background so it really didn't work out so I found the best setting to be this right here 
Um, we don't need to change the pointer size uh, for all of our Windows applications, but we can control that in the Filmora software itself. So don't worry about the pointer size. Just leave it at what you normally would use in a Windows environment. So those are the settings I would recommend. Turn on left-click rings, turn on left-click sound, increase the scale of the cursor, uh, control your volume. You might change the color, but that's kind of minor. But again, I would not suggest using the highlighter just because it's too large of a circle and makes some of the text on the screen a little bit harder to read. So I don't think you want to draw that much attention to the cursor. If you make it larger, that's probably easy, makes it easy enough for somebody to spot. Did you notice when I was telling you not to use the cursor highlight in Filmora that I was actually using a cursor highlight, but in a smaller size? The reason for that is I had to use a different software, Flashback Pro, in order to record the video because I cannot use Filmora to record Filmora. In Flashback Pro, you can control that size, and I think that's something that this other software should do as well. So if we go up to Effects and Highlight Cursor, here we can control the size of the cursor. So we can go up to 200 as the maximum size. There are some other settings like the uh, opacity of the highlight and uh, can do a border around the highlight. So let's go ahead and select OK. So now you can see that's really huge. So that's kind of more like Filmora. If it was that huge and you couldn't change it, I wouldn't be using that. Uh, now I'm not recommending that you use Flashback Pro. That It is free. Uh, so you can try it and download it and just do basic kind of capturing. All the special effects and things you can't really control with the software, at least not in the free version. You have to buy the professional version. Um, but what I was having problems with in the software mainly and why I'm looking at the Filmora software instead is it could not sync the audio and video together for whatever reason, at least not on my computer, which is a high-end computer, but it does have two 4K monitors. And when I was recording full screen 4K, uh, within like a minute or so, the audio and video is out of sync, uh, which is just making it like useless software to have. I never had that problem on a lower resolution, like 1920 by 1080 or something smaller. Uh, but try it out, certainly. Um, it's not as easy to use or as simple to use. It's kind of really complicated to use comparatively to the software Filmora that we were just looking at, their screen recorder. So not necessarily recommending this software, but just thought I would point out that's how I controlled the cursor uh, in when capturing the video about the Filmora software. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider liking this uh, video, uh, or thumbs up, I guess it would be, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel to see future videos that I create. Thank you.